Good, good, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Gotoda. Um, I'm going to talk about right field modulation. So uh, let, let me begin with what is modulation. So uh, in signal processing terms, uh, modulation refers to the process of varying one or more properties of a periodic signal. And there are many types of modulations. Uh, one is amplitude modulation, the other is frequency modulation, there is also phase modulation and polarization modulation. But here I use um, LCD panel to modulate a light field. So I, my main focus is on the amplitude modulation, so not on frequency modulation or phase modulation. Oh, phase modulation, and since uh, I use LCD panels, uh, polarization state is also changed, but uh, we, I, we, we, I'm not going to deal with this. Uh, I, the, the details of polarization is not uh, discussed here. So uh, um, modulation, uh, if, if you, when you hear the term modulation, you will probably think about spatial light modulators. Um, but unfortunately, my work is not related to uh, spatial light modulators because there's no uh, phase modulation or frequency modulation. So the basic question is why modulation is important? Well, uh, there are many reasons to modulate, um, uh, but my view on this is the following. So uh, in autostereoscopic displays, um, the ultimate goal of autostereoscopic displays is to reconstruct the light field of 3D scenes as exactly as possible, but unfortunately, it is not always possible. Uh, there's a limitation of resolution, there's limitation on viewing, viewing zones, and there's a limitation on the depth of field to be displayed. So if there is a modulator uh, that slightly improves the approximation, uh, approx uh, I mean, the light, any autostereoscopic displays uh, can re re reconstruct approximation of the light fields. So uh, we can think about the uh, improvement of the approximation. And such uh, modulators can serve as a good uh, convenient tools add-ons to autostereoscopic displays. So uh, how can I use the modulators? Uh, there are many scenarios to use modulators. Uh, one is to improve the resolution of the light fields. The other is to the other, other is to add chromatic chromaticity to the light fields. That means that uh, gray light, uh, monochromatic light fields are converted to color light fields. And it might, it might be possible to remove artifacts from the light fields using the modulators. And it might be possible to add full parallax to a horizontal parallax only displays. But uh, here I mainly focus on improving the resolution of the light fields and adding some flavor of chromaticity to the light fields. These two issues are to be dealt with. So uh, before we go on how to construct modulators, let us look at a useful uh, example of existing modulators. So uh, in projection displays, uh, as you know, uh, there's a, a Usually, a double lenticular screens are incorporated in projection displays. Uh, how to construct double uh, lenticular screens is uh, there are many ways to construct such kinds of devices, but basically, there's some, some, some kind of screens uh, covered with uh, lenticular sheets. And this screen is, can be is just, just screens. But I can see, think of this as a device to uh, modulate the light field. Right from the uh, projectors, it's modulated by this, uh, modulated by this uh, screen and delivered to the viewer. 
because uh, this screen contains uh, diffusers inside. So I, so I proposed, I, I think of, uh, so um, motivated by the structure of the double lenticular screen, I considered to incorporate uh, LC liquid crystal panel inside. So here are two possible configurations of uh, uh, modulator, uh, one liquid crystal panel with a diffuser and lenticular sheet, or two uh, liquid crystal panels and diffuser and lenticular sheets. So a uh, blue region uh, refers, uh, represent lenticular sheets, and green region represent liquid crystal panels. And in the middle of the uh, uh, of this device, there is a diffuser. There's a diffuser, a thin, uh, uh, orange uh, line. So uh, let us look at how this modulator works. So when a uh, parallel rays of light comes from the from the upper portions, uh, these are refracted. Uh, by the lenticular, lenticular sheet and diverge on the diffuser and uh, converge on the diffuser and uh, diffused here and diverge and then refracted by the lenticular sheet and uh, form another set of parallel rays of light. And this is actually a realistic situation and as we will discuss later, uh, such kind of scenario will not always work. But anyway, uh, let us assume that this is a kind of optics that are taking place in, in, within the modulator. And uh, when light passing through uh, li liquid crystal panels, uh, the amplitude of liquid uh, light will be, can be modulated here. And since uh, there are lenticular, uh, lenticular sheets, uh, the, direct, uh, the mo modulation takes place, uh, yeah, yeah the di <laughs> uh, well, uh, this is uh, the modulation of by the lenticular sheet, uh, liquid crystal panel is dependent on the uh, direction of the, of the light. And this is a very unpleasant situation where the uh, divergence of, uh, of light at the diffuser is, uh, forms a very wide angle of fans uh, spanning over three lenslets. And this kind of phenomena should be avoided as much as possible. So we should design uh, the diffuser very carefully so that as such kind of uh, phenomena will not take place. But uh, for, uh, even when some such kind of uh, this, uh, careful tuning is not possible, yeah, we, so it is always best to design the diffuser no, uh, like this one, so it's forming short, narrow field of light. But uh, when it is not possible, uh, we may consider to use a liquid crystal uh, panel as a liquid crystal shutter, and trying to control, uh, trying to control the direction of the uh, outgoing uh, light field. But um, uh, such how this shutter works will depend on the distance between the lenticular sheet and the uh, uh, liquid crystal panel, liquid crystal layer. So uh, it is not always, we, we cannot expect too much on that kind of uh, devices. So uh, before, I'm, I'm going to talk about how the device, how the device work, uh, how well the device work. Uh, but uh, let me give a brief summary of, of my current research status. So uh, at present, uh, physical implementation of the proposed modulator is incomplete, so only simulation-based studies have been carried out. 
but uh, these uh, simulation-based studies have revealed that um, uh, modulations can, modulators can improve the resolution of the light fields. And this, this kind of, these modulators can add some chromaticity to the light fields, but um, the result is not so satisfactory. And the simulation is done in conjunction with a multi-layer display, which is a computational display, and can cooperate with the modulators. Well, um, so uh, this is a brief introduction of a multi-layer display, but I, I should skip. Uh, the, the, um, uh, yeah, multi-layer display, in short, is a display uh, create, uh, constructed by stacking multiple transparent panels on the light source. And uh, on top of the light of uh, multi layer display, we put a modulator and observe the light field uh, created by, the, by this uh, uh, multi layer display and modulated by this modulator. So uh, the modulator consists of two LC panels. And, and, and a diffuser, and in, well, uh, what's that? Well, um, well, um, well, and uh, uh, exp uh, um, these panels have, uh, assumed to be, have uh, 64 by four, uh, I, my eye is not working well. Um, well, um, I'm sorry, sorry. Uh, okay, uh, six, six, six forty, six forty by four, four eighty pixels, and these two LC panels also have six forty by four, four eighty panels, uh, pixels. So uh, let me show you some uh, examples of uh, photographic shots. So uh, on the left, uh, you see two images here. But uh, this, these two images represent the light fields. Uh, in fact, the light field consists of 115 images, but here I listed only two. And on the right, uh, this, this is a result uh, uh, obtained by much radar displays. So these uh, light, light fields are projected onto the, on the much radar display, and the results are well, are uh, fairly good, although there are several artifacts uh, visible here. But uh, this result can be, these results can be improved a little bit more using modulator. So this is the result using modulator. This is multi layer only. This is modulator added, multi layer only modulator added. So you, you see that uh, some improvement on the resolution can be uh, observed here. And if we add a color filter in the modulator, uh, we can add a chromaticity to the right field. Uh, but the result is not so satisfactory. So uh, there, there are uh, uh, unnatural bands here. And the color is blue here. Uh, although the original color is brown. Here's another example. Uh, this, uh, these are the input light fields uh, representing uh, grass and uh, put on a floor. And the result obtained by a much display displays uh, rather good, but we can improve the result a little bit, little bit more using the moderator. So this is the original result. This is modulator added. So some improvement is observed here. And if we add color filter, uh, the result is something like this. So this one roughly corresponds to this one, but uh, it is blue. Well, this, this figure is also blue, and this figure is also blue. So blue may correspond to the uh, actual construction of the uh, actual co configuration of the modulator, I think. 
And this is the final uh, photo, photo shot, uh, photograph shot. Uh, this, this represents a toy of a helicopter. And, uh, and if we put these images onto the multi-layer display, uh, the result is very bad. Uh, we can vaguely see something, but we can recognize what, what's going, what, is, what are these. And adding modulator, the results uh, improved a little bit. Uh, better, worse, better, worse. But still, uh, the result is not so per perfect. And if we add a color filter here, uh, the results are far from the original image in both cases. So uh, these are the results I obtained. So, uh, so in, in, uh, let me summarize my talk. Uh, so I proposed a light field moderator consisted of lenticular sheets, uh, diffuser, uh, one or two liquid crystal panels. And the uh, uh, properties of this, these uh, modulators are studied based on simulations. And as far as I, we, we understand, uh, the modulators could be used to improve the uh, resolution of the light fields. And some flavor of chromaticity can be also be added to monochromatic light fields, but the results are poor, not so satisfactory, not, 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 uh, not satisfactory. And physical implementation of the proposed modulator is still incomplete. So dealing with areas in effect, a phenomena such as moiré pattern or some pattern like this one, is left for future work. So thank you for your kind attention. <laughs>